Ad hominem fallacy. The ad hominem fallacy occurs when someone tries to discredit another person's argument by attacking their character instead of addressing the argument's substance. Hasty generalization. Hasty generalization, also known as the overgeneralization fallacy, occurs when a claim is made based on insufficient evidence. Red herring fallacy. A red herring is a tactic that misleads or distracts from a relevant or important question, often used to shift the focus to a different subject. Two quoke fallacy. The two quoke fallacy is a technique used to discredit an opponent's argument by attacking the opponent's personal behavior and actions as inconsistent with their argument, thereby accusing them of hypocrisy instead of addressing the actual argument. Slippery slope fallacy. A slippery slope argument rejects a course of action by insisting, often with little or no evidence, that it will trigger a chain reaction leading to undesirable outcomes. Loaded. Question. A loaded question is one that contains an implicit assumption within it. False dilemma. The false dilemma. Fallacy, also known as the black and white fallacy, happens when someone oversimplifies an issue by presenting only two options as if they are the only possibilities or are mutually exclusive, even though other options exist. Circular reasoning. Circular reasoning is an argument that assumes the conclusion it is attempting to prove. Instead of providing evidence, it simply restates the conclusion, making the argument logically inconsistent. Appeal to authority. The appeal to authority fallacy occurs when an argument relies on the opinion of an influential figure as evidence for the truth of the position, rather than providing substantive proof. Appeal to nature. The appeal to nature fallacy argues that something is good because it is natural or bad because it is unnatural. This is fallacious because the underlying assumption that what is natural is good is usually irrelevant and based on opinion rather than fact. Composition fallacy. The composition fallacy occurs when it is assumed that what is true for a part is also true for the whole. Division fallacy. The division fallacy occurs when it is assumed that what is true for the whole must also be true for all or some of its parts. Affirming the consequent. Affirming the consequent is a fallacy that occurs when a true conditional statement, e.g., if the lamp were broken, then the room would be dark, leads to an invalid conclusion by inferring its converse, e.g., the room is dark, so the lamp must be broken. Anecdotal fallacy. The anecdotal fallacy occurs when individuals use their limited personal experiences to make broad generalizations about a topic. Appeal to emotion. The appeal to emotion technique manipulates another person's emotions to win an argument, especially when lacking factual evidence. Burden of proof. Fallacy. The burden of proof fallacy occurs when someone tries to shift the responsibility of providing evidence away from themselves, even though the burden of proof lies with the person making the claim, not the one denying it. No true Scotsman fallacy. The no true Scotsman fallacy attempts to defend a generalization about a group by excluding counterexamples on the grounds that they are not true or pure members of the group. Texas Sharpshooter the Texas sharpshooter fallacy gets its name from the metaphor of a shooter who first fires shots and then draws targets around the bullet holes to make it look like he hit the target. This fallacy illustrates how people first decide on a conclusion and then look for data that supports it, ignoring differences and randomness. It is also an example of suppressed correlative thinking. Suppressed correlative a suppressed correlative occurs when one of two mutually exclusive options is redefined to include the other, effectively making one option impossible. For example, if someone asks, should we stop for lunch or not, and frames the options as, either you're hungry or you're not, but then defines being hungry as simply being able to eat, it makes the choice meaningless, because by that definition, they are always hungry. This illustrates a personal incredulity fallacy. Personal incredulity. The personal incredulity fallacy occurs when someone assumes that something must be false simply because it is difficult to understand or imagine. Ambiguity fallacy. 
The ambiguity fallacy occurs when an unclear phrase with multiple meanings is used in an argument, causing confusion and failing to support the conclusion effectively. Genetic fallacy. The genetic fallacy occurs when an argument is either accepted or rejected based solely on its origin rather than its actual content. Affirming the disjunct. Affirming the disjunct fallacy happens when, in an either-or scenario, one incorrectly assumes that if one statement or outcome is true, the other cannot be true. Appeal to tradition. The appeal to tradition occurs when we disregard evidence suggesting that we should change simply because we have been doing something a certain way for a long time, akin to a sunk cost mentality. Sunk cost fallacy. The sunk cost fallacy refers to our inclination to persist with something we have invested money, effort, or time in, even when the current costs outweigh the benefits. Appeal to ignorance. The appeal to ignorance occurs when someone claims that a proposition is true because it has not been proven false, or that a proposition is false because it has not been proven true. Continuum fallacy. The continuum fallacy argues that two conditions or states cannot be considered distinct or do not exist at all because there exists a continuum of states between them. Denying the antecedent. Denying the antecedent involves inferring the opposite from an original statement. For example, if the original statement is, if you are a ski instructor, then you have a job. Denying the antecedent would be to conclude, you are not a ski instructor, therefore you have no job. This represents a false cause fallacy. False cause. The false cause fallacy occurs when someone incorrectly assumes that one thing causes another without sufficient evidence, often using mere correlation as proof. Definist fallacy. The definist fallacy occurs when a term is defined in a way that makes one's position much easier to defend. Ecological fallacy. An ecological fallacy assumes that what is true for a population as a whole is also true for each individual member of that population. Etymological fallacy. The etymological fallacy is the mistaken belief that the true meaning of a word is its oldest or original meaning. Taking quotes out of context is an error in which a passage from a quote is taken out of its context in such a way as to distort its, the intended meaning of the context may be omitted intentionally or accidentally false. Ludic fallacy. The ludic fallacy describes the error of mistaking the structured uncertainty found in games for the more complex uncertainty found in real life. For instance, organized competitive fighting trains athletes to focus on the game, ignoring possibilities not explicitly allowed by the rules, which can differ greatly from real life situations. Nirvana fallacy. The nirvana fallacy involves comparing a realistic solution to an idealized one and dismissing the realistic solution because it doesn't measure up to a perfect or impossible standard.